Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to give you guys a heads up on a Steam title that is going free forever. It's entering into open beta. It's been an early access and I believe it'll still be an early access. Just now it's shifting to an open beta period and uh, you'll be able to play it for free. It's also on sale right now as a part of the spring sale, but uh, yeah, that's obviously wrapping up. We'll talk that and we'll talk some great deals. Obviously there are some big games coming up here shortly and uh, you can get them discounted a little bit at our good friends over at Green Man Games. So we'll talk that in a little bit. But first of all, Predecessor is a fast-paced action game that combines MOBA and FPS gameplay, putting you at the heart of the fight with strategic choice, third-person control, and immersive action. The game has been in early access since December of 2022, mostly positive reception with 6,600 reviews and 78% of those reviews are positive. Obviously, when we talk about MOBAs, I can go on my lengthy diatribe about League of Legends and my toxic days in high school playing that game. MOBAs really aren't my cup of tea anymore, but uh, I've got friends that still play League incessantly. I've got friends that play Smite. I've got friends that play Dota. It seems to still be a big element to a lot of people's uh, gaming rotation, so to speak, in terms of games that they always go back to. The last time I played a MOBA, it had to have been League, and it was early early when the world shut down and like all my boys were jumping back into league and that was that I, I will quite I will be quite nostalgic about that time in life even though it was an absolutely awful time but that was literally the last time I played a MOBA at least a MOBA in the traditional sense. Maybe I've played some games with MOBA aspects, but uh, off the top of my head, that was it. In a match, 10 players are divided into two teams, uh, with each player controlling their chosen hero. No two heroes are the same. Each hero has their own unique abilities and design, meaning there's a hero to match everyone's style of play. Heroes complete objectives to collect gold, like killing minions, towers, or enemy heroes. As a hero collects more gold, they can buy items from the shop that influence their heroes in interesting ways, allowing them to teleport to new locations, go invisible, freeze time, and more. Items also allow Allow heroes to get more powerful by giving their hero better attributes such as power, attack, speed, health, and various other stats. Unlike most MOBAs, Predecessor puts you into the heart of the action. The third-person perspective fully immerses you into the game as enemies appear from shadow walls over ledges or from behind you. So this is the early access version of the game right now as a part of the Steam Spring Sale. It is 90% off for 89 cents. So if you do want to play it a couple weeks in advance, you can do that. But it will be going free forever on March the 28th as it is entering its open beta period so everybody can jump in and hopefully that will jolt up the player base. I believe the game is making its way to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series at some point but right now there's only 800 concurrent players so certainly it would do it a lot of good with a little bit of a jolt up in its player base so hopefully that'll happen very shortly so uh, uh with March 28th the open beta also kicking off but that is the game going free forever. All right, moving on from that, talking some deals, some big games coming out. First of all, Horizon Forbidden West. By the time you guys are watching this video, we're probably a day or so away from the actual release of the game. Um, you know, I don't know exactly how they're doing the timing structure in terms of if the game is out at midnight. I believe PlayStation titles usually release at 1 p.m. Eastern. And given that the spring sale is running, you probably want to wait for the spring sale to end and then officially release the game. I don't know, from a promotional standpoint, and that makes sense, but Forbidden West, uh, Green Man Gaming, if you're an XP member, 15% off for $51. Uh, they also do have Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition, 79% for $10.50. Definitely do play Zero Dawn if you have not played Forbidden West. These games are very narrative heavy, even if Forbidden West's uh, story gets kind of nonsensical. I think the second half of Forbidden West is kind of crazy and kind of out there and not the direction I would have taken Aloy's story, but uh, you know, what can you do? What can you do as far as that's concerned? In every other area, outside of the story, Forbidden West is a significant improvement upon uh, Zero Dawn. I think the gameplay is better. Visuals, even though Forbidden West is a cross-gen game on the PS4, the animation, the character models in this game are ridiculous. Forbidden West is legit one of the best-looking games I have ever played, and I can't wait to see it realized on PC and see how far we can push this game. I'm sure it's going to be a little bit difficult to run if you're looking 4K, max setting 60 FPS, but man... This game was a visual delight on PS5, and I think it'll look fantastic on PC as well. So get that a little bit cheaper. You get the base game, you get Burning Shores as well. If you have yet to play Zero Dawn, 
Get the complete edition of that. You get the base game, Frozen Wilds with that. Ten fifty for Zero Dawn's Highway Robbery and Forbidden West, given it's just coming out. $51. Burning Shores was released at $20, so essentially you're paying like $30 for Forbidden West, $20 for Burning Shores. I think overall that's a pretty good deal. You're going to get north of 50 hours of gameplay if you're going to do everything in the game. Probably even more than that, uh, given Burning Shores is included. But yeah, sizable, sizable game and uh, going to be well worth it. Speaking of sizable games, Dragon's Dogma 2. This is out tomorrow at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific. So, you know, if you don't want to wait until 20, the March the 22nd, which is when it's supposed to come out, they are releasing it a little bit early, an hour early on the East Coast uh, on Steam. So if you do want to play it a little early, you can do it there. Uh, GMG, 14% off, $60.19. So uh, hoping this one turns out well. Dragon's Dogma 2 is a game that people have wanted for years and years. It's been talked about for a very long time as a potential game that could happen. And it is finally happening. And uh, it is the first $70 Capcom game. But instead of paying $70, why not pay $60.19? Seems like a pretty good deal to me given how much content you're gonna get there is a deluxe edition as well that's 14 percent off for 68.79 deluxe edition really doesn't have anything to write home about so take that for what you will i would just stick to the base game a couple of other deals i do want to know for xp members these are some deals on games already out blaze blue entropy effect you may have heard me gush about this game as a part of my spring sale video yesterday this game is awesome. If you're into action roguelites, you'll love this game. Stylistically, it's super flashy. Has no real connection to Blaze Blue outside of the characters. You have like Ragna, you have Jin in there. I've been playing as Jin uh, mostly, but yeah, absolutely awesome game. Super fast paced action combat, a lot of different abilities and nuances to the game as well. It's excellent. It's going to end up being one of the more underrated games, I think, ever. Uh, it is overwhelmingly positive on Steam, but just not a lot of people checked it out. And, um, you know, I don't know if the Blaze Blue like, tag helped the game. It probably did, uh, in the sense that Blaze Blue is a recognizable IP. I don't really know how that works from a licensing standpoint and whatnot, but, like, hey... I like Blaze Blue, and I like the Blaze Blue character, so it obviously put the game on my radar. Now, the development studio actually hooked me up with a copy, but I had known about this game for a while, and then they reached out to me, and I was like, yeah, well, I want to check the game out, and I've been playing it recently. I'm like, man, this game is awesome, and uh, for $13.25, definitely a good pickup, and I would strongly, strongly recommend it. Uh, definitely a good shout there, and then Days Gone is also on sale. This is down to $10.50, one of the lesser uh, PlayStation exclusives, but still a pretty damn good game and a lot of the issues on playstation 4 really came from the technical side of things and uh now for ten dollars and fifty cents a lot of those technical problems alleviated you're getting a damn good deal here all things considered so definitely would recommend that but that'll do it for me again predecessor is going free forever over on steam march the 28th be on the lookout for that if you want a new moba to play especially one that's visually uh quite good forbidden was get that a little bit cheaper as an xp member zero dawn get that cheaper and definitely play that first uh before playing forbidden west dragon's dogma 2 blaze blue entropy effect and days got links to everything in the description box down below as always thanks for watching guys and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.